Hello everybody, this is Shane Armandrell with Review Lagoon. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nook Color from Barnes & Noble. With the caveat though, it's no longer a Barnes & Noble product. It has been converted to a full-blown Android Froyo tablet. So let's take a look here. Here it is in its nice shiny $50 case. We're going to take it out of the case. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up to, so you can see a full boot process after it's been froyoized. Now this is not running off the SD card, this is right in the internal memory. So while this is booting, we'll take a little quick tour. On the top, we have a standard headphone jack, power button. Uh, the bottom we have a micro USB plug for data and power, still booting. And we have a standard volume rocker here. And on the back, we have a little flip up guy. If you flip this guy open, the SD card is right in here. It's a micro SD card. All right. If you can see, it's fairly thin. Let's see if I can... Oh, my finger here. And as you can see, it is holdable in one hand, which makes it perfect. Oh, I'll knock my camera out. Which makes it... Per okay, we're booted up, so you guys were watching the time to do a two-handed deal. All right. So, here we are. And this looks a lot like a big giant cell phone and that's basically what it is. Up at the top here you have your standard um, controls uh, that you've that you've seen uh, on the Android, your time, your battery. It also has of course the cell signal which isn't true because there's no cell phone in this guy. Uh, audio and Wi-Fi connectivity. Okay, Lock, sound off, sound on. That all works just like it did before in the Android phones. And we'll unlock it. Alright. From here you can adjust the quote ringer level, which isn't exactly the ringer, but same idea. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take a closer look. As you can see, uh, it looks a lot like an Android. We can turn it sideways, and it will rotate into a landscape view. And back. Alright, so um, let's take a little tour here. This is running um, absolutely no Barnes & Noble software. The, the operating system has been completely replaced. This is a rooted Android tablet now. And just so you can see a handful of the features, as you can see we have beautiful widgets at the top. We've had um, widget toys on the bottom. We have, uh, this is running the Zine launcher. So it's a re home replacement launcher. This button here will take you to the apps, which should look familiar. And of course the apps work sideways as well and you can scroll up and down. All right, and back home. The Nook button down here, by the way, actually will take you back to home. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video and start shooting the video closer so we can get a little bit more detail. All right, hopefully the camera will focus a little bit nicer here. I'm a portrait kind of guy. I like to hold it in this portrait mode. A lot of people like landscape, but I'm used to portrait, so that's probably the way I'll be doing it. Now, I know what a lot of people are eager to see, how responsive is it, how do games play on it. We're going to take a look at a few different things here. So we fire up Gmail, and it should be just as uh, you remember it from other Android-type devices. Um, loads other conversations. Um, hit a button. Hit one of the emails. It'll bring your email up. Hit show pictures, just like anything else and the thing comes in pretty quick. Now this is a Wi-Fi device, it's not 3G, so it's nice and fast. And again, if we rotate to the side, we have our email in a nice clean format. And you can't do any zooming in here because it's Gmail. But we'll get to the browser in just a minute. So we'll get to the, uh, let's see the avatar gear. This will launch our browser, this will give you a good idea what this looks like. As you can see, it's pretty speedy. And if you, this also has Flash installed, so if you have a Flash type uh, scenario. Now it's not real fast on the Flash, but it does render pretty much everything you need to see. Anytime Flash is involved, it slows the browser down a little bit. Of course, pinch to zoom, and back down. It's pretty quick, right? It's, uh, it's speedy, especially considering there's a Flash running on here. I'll hit the Nook button, we'll go back to the home screen. So you've seen basic browsing, that's with the built-in browser, and of course you can use things like um, third-party browsers, such as uh, Dolphin. 
and let's see. So we'll go to, uh, let's see, go to the main Dolphin browser site so you can take a look. There's featured add-ons. You can see it's very, very swift when there's no flash running. Let's go to someplace a little bit heavier, say CNN.com. Well, I typed that right. I'm looking on the screen. And again, you can see it's fairly swift. Uh, recommended add-on, blah, 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 cancel. All right, so there we go. Got CNN. As you can see, there's a little bit of a flash on there, so it slows it down a little bit. Now, I've never tried CNN video, so it's, uh, it's worth taking a peek at here. I'm not sure if this will actually play or not. It should. Standard flash. Again, the flash isn't super speedy. Which is why if you try to play, say, online... As you can see, it's, um, it's not too bad, and it does tell you the video is not optimized for mobile. All right, so that's CNN, and again, even with the video playing, you can still move around a little bit, and you can still do your pinch to zoom. Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. You say not necessarily in this browser, but it holds its own fairly well. All right, enough of that. All right, so um, let's see. So we took a look at the browser. We took a look at email. Um, things like Gtalk, of course, Google Talk work just fine. Pretty much most of the major apps you're going to find work work just fine on here. And everybody logs in. You get to see everybody. It, again, if you're used to using a cell phone, then you should be right at home with this. An Android cell phone, anyway. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? The Marketplace, of course. The uh, Android Marketplace is alive and well. Let's see if you guys can see this. It's a little bit creepy because of the oscillation there on the picture, but as you can see, the uh, market is here. Works just fine. And let's see. What else can I show you? Oh, this is a good example. Uh, let's see. Um, the Reader. Google Reader, for those of you who use it. Um, this is one of the little fickle points of it. As you can see, the list is nice. You do a, uh, when you zoom into an article detail, um, you'll notice it does have some sizing problems. But again, once you go ahead and click the link, you're taken off to the browser and life is good again. It's a fairly heavy site, so I'm not shocked it's taking a little bit longer. But there you go. Very, very usable. Now I have another cat coming to visit me. What is it with you guys? All right, down we go. All right, so, and of course, video. And this video is not optimized for mobile, blah, blah, blah. Wait a minute, oh, copyrights in your country, whatever. All right, enough of that crap. So now what you're really wanting to see. You want to see some youtube -age. You want to see some video. All right, well, let's do that properly optimized video over Wi-Fi rejected Mortal Kombat fatalities that sounds as good as anything as you can see it looks great here we'll turn it sideways do its magic buffering and as you can see it looks great Looks great, right? Just like you'd expect it to on a tablet. Fantastic widescreen orientation. Oh! <laughs> okay, I might have to watch this one later. All right, so that's YouTube, that's streaming video. What about local video? Great question. Local video, let me see, what am I using for a player here? Um. <laughs> Let's see. Well, let's take a look using Rock Player. Oh, more popular ones. And we'll grab one of my favorite shows, Fact or Fake, Paranormal Files. And this, by the way, has not been converted, optimized, or otherwise monkeyed with to better play on here. This is a straight XVID dump right off of an internet site. Not converted, not hacked, nothing. This is just clean video. We'll jump to somewhere in the middle here. 
the mermaid episode, one of my personal favorites. It looks fantastic, right? You don't need an iPad, you need a $250 Nook. All right, so we've looked at video, it's time to look at some games, right? Nothing would be fun without games. So we need to take a look at a couple of the main staples, such as Fruit Ninja. Try to do this sideways, no comments please. As you can see, it plays fantastic, right? Just like you'd expect it to play.